In this video, we'll see how to use the system aliases feature of SAP Conversational AI to automatically call different on-premise ABAP services in different versions of the same chatbot. And as a bonus, we'll create those OData services ourselves from CDS views in our own ABAP developer edition. If I can do it, you can. So let's get started. Okay, for this demo, we're basically going to do four things. We're going to create CDS views and then OData services. Second, we're going to expose those OData views, OData services through the cloud connector. Third, we're going to create destinations to those services. And fourth, we are going to use those destinations in our chatbot and create a system aliases that let us um, go from a production environment to a development environment. And all of that is using the ABAP Developer Edition, which is installed on my desktop. Um, and you can see that I installed it through Docker and that it's running. So let's do the first part, the CDS views. The CDS views I have already created and activated, but we'll take a look at what they are. The production uh, CDS view basically goes to the user table and returns the current username. And there's an additional field called ENV uh, that for this service produces, uh, returns the production system uh, text. And we have a development uh, service that does the same thing, but returns development system for that environmental variable. Okay, so now we have those views already created. Let's create services from them. So we'll start with the development service. We'll create a service definition. Uh, we'll call it uh, dev service definition. We'll call this uh, description and we'll finish. Okay, and we'll do control F3 to activate it. We'll do the same thing for the production CTS view, create a service definition. Give it a description. and finish and control F3 to activate. Okay, so now we have these service definitions and we can create the service binding, which is essentially the OData service. So let's do it for the development service, create the service binding. And this will eventually be the name of the OData service. And we'll give it the V2 UI type and we'll finish. And we still have to publish it. So we'll click publish and we get a link to the service URL. So let's click on that. And we have to sign in. And that's our service. We can view it in JSON format, which is easier. And we can see that this OData service returns this entity set. We can actually look at that entity set and we can see that it returns the user uh, and development system. So let's do the same thing for uh, the production service. Let's go here. Create a service binding. This will be the name of the service. Give it a description. Give it a type, V2. Let's finish. Let's publish. And we get the service URL as well. So we've created the CDS views and we've exposed them as OData services. So now we have to uh, expose them through the cloud connector so the BTP account, our BTP account, can access them. So the first thing we need to do is go to our cloud connector, and I've already logged in. You need to start the cloud connector. So to start the cloud connector, even once your application server and HDB is started, you open up a, a bash session and then you run the command to start the cloud connector. It'll take a minute or two. And when you get this response, that means it's started. Okay. So 
Making uh, the services available through the Cloud Connector is quite simple. Uh, the first thing we have to do is add a sub-account and our region is EU10. Oops, EU10. And our account is, uh, if we go to our account on the overview page, we will get the ID for our sub-account. Okay, it's right here. So we just take this. Oops. And we put that in. We'll call this demo CAI. Uh, I'll log in. And that's the whole thing. It now tries to connect to that B2B sub account, make sure that I'm a valid admin. It'll take a few minutes. Okay. And it created this sub account and all is well. Okay. Now we want to collect, uh, connect the cloud to on premise. So we will, uh, do this mapping of the virtual host to the internal host. This is an ABAP system. We want to do HTTPS. We, the internal host is localhost. 50,001. Now we have a virtual host and we'll call it dev edition or sorry, my dev edition 50,001 and everything is the same. And we finish. And the only, the only last thing to do is to uh, add resources. So we're going to just do the root path and all subpaths. Okay. And now it's exposed and we're all ready to create the destinations. So we'll go into our sub account. We'll go to destinations. And luckily for us, we've already created those destinations, but they're quite simple. Uh, we created one destination for the developer service and one for the production service. So if we go into the developer service, we called it uh, myabop dev, and we use the virtual host that we defined in the cloud connector. And the service is, this is the name of the service binding um, that we use to create the service. The proxy type is on-premise and we use basic authentication. And for this demo, we use the developer uh, user. You can check the connection. The connection works. That just means that the cloud connector is working and it's able to reach this uh, domain. It doesn't mean that the user's uh, credentials are okay, and it doesn't mean this service exists, uh, but at least we can get through the cloud connector. Okay, so now we've created the destinations. And for the last part, we will use all of this in conversational AI. Okay, so let's open up Conversational AI. And I've already created a test ABAP services uh, chatbot. All I've done is use the default greeting skill. Okay, the very first thing we want to do is to say we want to use aliases. So we go to the settings, we go to system aliases, and we enable the feature uh, in our chatbot. And now we create an alias and we say my ABAP alias and return. And now we have an alias. Okay. So now let's go to our, um, our skill, our greeting skill and actually use it. Okay. Now that alias is not yet, um, connected to the back end, uh, but we'll do that afterwards. Okay. So we go to the greetings and all we're going to do here is connect to the back end. So we're going to consume this service through my ABAP alias. Again, it's not connected anywhere. And we're going to reference our entity set. Okay. And we're going to call the response my ABAP response. And that's all we need to do. And we're going to output some message so we can know uh, that we've connected to this to the production service or the development service. So let's uh, copy in 
some message. And we are going to print out my ABAP response, the username, and that env variable that we talked about. So let's save that. OK, now we've created the chatbot. Now we need to connect. Uh, we want to create a second version of the chatbot that um, with the same alias, but mapping that alias uh, to different destinations. So we'll do that in this, in now. The first thing we'll do is create another version of the chatbot. So we go to versions, we create a new version, v2 based on v1. OK. And we will also create another environment, the production environment. So we'll say the production environment. And the production environment is based on v1. And the development environment, we now want to make v2. OK. So we're Simulating, we had development, it was V1, we promoted V1 to production, and we created V2 for development. Okay. So now we need to go and map our alias to the proper destination. So in the development, we say we want to map our alias to destination and to the developer destination. And for production, we want to do the same except to production. OK. And now we're all set up. We need to make sure that both bots are trained properly. So we'll just make sure that they're trained. OK, I skipped ahead because uh, both bots needed to be trained and I didn't want to wait for to train them. So let's say hi in now the development bot. And you will see that we are making a connection to the back end. It makes a call to those CDS views and to those OData services. And in this particular case, it returns the development service. If we now go to the production uh, chatbot, and let's just make sure that's trained properly. And let's say hi to in the production bot. We will see that it goes to the back end, makes the call, but this time it uh, returns the production system for that environment variable. So we've gone to two different services, and by just changing the environment um, and mapping the alias, we will go to different services or different backends. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we saw how easy it is to use the developer edition to create CDS views and expose uh, old data services for use in our chatbot. And we saw how to use the system aliases feature in conversational AI to map a single alias to uh, various destinations to simulate uh, a development QA and productive environment. In the future, I hope to make videos about uh, not just basic authentication, but to do the same thing with principal propagation, as well as to call services uh, in the cloud.